Ooh. Okay. Oh. Just as good time as I need to go. Alright, where was the last time we left off? So this is part seven of uh Vi. Let me turn down the music just so a little bit easier to hear me. Yeah, so this is part seven of Vi. Um I did a little bit of stuff off stream. Uh, and it's really, really simple stuff. Um, so basically, in the last part, we painted all of these little uh, I'm a loss of words right now. Um, we put paint all these straps and stuff to kind of make the character look nicer and everything. But I wanted them to look like actually like sewn in patterns. And everything so i basically went in and retoppled all these little small little pieces and that's what you see now right uh i didn't do more than that oh what's going on oh yeah that's our joan Grasnock. didn't you follow me before uh doesn't matter thanks for following me um yeah so that's all i did was went through and reached out to all those different pieces and thought about exactly how I wanted them to be. Um, and now today we're going to go through and actually define them a little bit more and make them look a little bit more uh, fleshed out. Uh, there was a number of ways I could have done this exact same pattern work. So if I wanted to, I could have just painted everything and then used like the masking feature to ex uh, to extract those patterns and then adjust it from there. But I tend to like making my own retop work just because it tends to be cleaner for one and also allows me the greatest amount of use in it if I need to do something else or if I want to change something rapidly. I don't have to, you know, go through the process of cleaning everything up and everything. And it does take a little bit more time um, depending on what you feel like doing. But honestly, in the long scheme of the project, it, doesn't take that long and also it just makes it look a whole lot nicer um so like i want to get this model 3d printed eventually probably not me gonna be cutting it up and stuff like that but at least they have that part there and then they can adjust it um with the low poly and then they can dynamesh everything together and it just makes it so much easier from the back end all right so saying all that stuff now uh now we're just gonna go through and give these things thickness uh change them up just a bit like some of the bits that i created uh needed a little bit more uh shape to them as well as some of them need uh internal edge uh so like this one right here uh in the concept it looks like there's a middle point that kind of wraps around the bolt so i'm gonna be adding that stuff in there as well but this is going to be a really chill and uh, quiet stream today just because it's just, you know, there's not much sculpting going on. It's just raw uh, retop work and uh, basic 3D modeling. Other than that, feel free to talk amongst the shelves in the chat. Talk to me. How was y'all day? Did y'all watch any extra live? extra life streams well the most of the boring work is done lost artist because this took me like an hour or two to do uh i forgot when i did i think i did it like two days ago yeah because i worked on ebony ebony mm, saint ebony last night I was supposed to stream so much more this week, but the election, dude, is just like, okay, let me take a break. A break from a break. But now that that's all over, I can spend a little bit more time working on this. And honestly, this character isn't that far away from being done. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, you, but you enjoying your fishing trip out there, man? Uh, 
Also, if anyone's watching this after the fact, Lost Art is from my Discord channel, and he just recently talked about uh, going on a fishing trip. I'm not insane. I just you know, randomly made up the thing about the fishing trip. I'm so glad you got the chance to get, uh, get away for a bit. Let's turn these off for a bit. Oh crap, did I not have the back part of this in? Oh, I had it. I honestly think I need to get out of Austin for a bit myself. Well, at least I want to. Don't need to. I'm going to turn double sided on this for a little bit just because I know I did the internal flaps. Yeah, no problem. Glad you stopped by for a bit. All today's going to be is just doing this stuff, extruding everything. So it's not too much to deal with today. Um, I do want to plan out my next steps of the character though. So like after I do all the, the straps, call them straps right now. Uh, after I do all the um, sewn in bits, I'm going to probably finish off the feet and then only thing left will be the armor bits and the hair. I'm holding off on the cap for the hair piece to be done. Just so it's a lot easier for me to kind of be the cake topper on this entire beautiful thing. Let me bring up my reference. Okay, yeah, that's two different bits. Let me clip this. 
easier for myself. Park carpet is auto group based on the different size. Is that new? Sorry, geeking out over here if this is true. Oh my gosh, it does it. Oh. That's so nice of them to do that, finally, after like 13 years. going to hit the unweld group borders so that's two different meshes mask this off and then just shrink it down just a bit turn on my local center that way it doesn't mess up its placement these on just so I can see what they'd look like again with everything on. Turn off these hands for a bit. Hands look so small though. This is work and then add thickness. off again fix it to the leg I don't care about it poking out a little bit too much because uh, eventually I'm going to add an extra line in there just so I can puff up a bit. to be as accurate as possible. Okay. 
Oops. Now that I got that con in a rough position, let me just copy this number. That way I can use it for all of them. So apply it. Oh, of course. Uh, zero. Round this off so it's easy for me to remember. So point zero one four. I I'm gonna have to move this, but I'll do that after I get all these thicknesses done. Might not do that much thickness on this one. Let's see how it looks first. Well, it's not bad. Uh, wrong one. Offset, turn that to zero. Little bit of offset. Straps now, Let's see where they at. Since this is the main one anyway, I'm just going to. Okay, I think it's down below. That looks pretty good. I like the thickness on it. I'm going to add a uh, like border around it so I can make it look like it was sewn in. Kind of want that to be closer. So much. Uh, 
honestly, I'm going to turn off everything except for the bottom half of the leg. Help speed up what I'm looking at, too. these changes to them and now that I have that going for I'm going to polygroup crease polygroup everything and I'm going to dynamically do it again turn off thickness turn on my smoothing groups and turn down what my crease level is And I just want to have that at the ready. That way I can keep going back and forth with D. Okay. Uh, D, which does the dynamic smoothing. Just press always yes. Then shift D is to bring it back. Crease. Well, do I have crease edges of a certain degree? That doesn't look like it. Did. But if I even go into geometry, crease, I can do crease based on a tolerance of 45 degrees, but I'm going to turn that down. Get all the sharp edges. And I'm going to go back through and uncrease the edges I don't want. Crease. So like that one. Maybe I made that a little too, maybe 45 was a good angle. That yeah, looks about right. Now I kind of got that in a good place, right? Yeah.
I'm just gonna go through now and just move some things around. Get those edges closer. And some of these things I can mess around when uh, after I smooth them. Right now we're just playing the push game of making everything look nice in this basic format the way when we subdivide it up, it looks perfect or better. I should say not perfect. That set, let me change this subdivide level. Now that that's in a good spot, I can start to add in the little ribbed edges. And you can do this in one or two ways. Uh, one way will be to just smooth it out how you want to, or like add some more defining edges in here, and then just go with a smooth uh, standard brush and bring that stuff back in. Or you could just do it here with basic modeling. Um, that's what I'm gonna do if it works. Uh, so using Z modeler, let's see if inset is gonna do what I needed to do today. Let's do poly group all. That's what I was afraid of. Equal to the standard, let's see. Mm -hmm. Legacy. That seems a lot better than what it was trying to give me.
I'm going to just include these. What's the? That's not what I was looking for. Hmm. Is it adding a line in here? Then boosting it up? Let me just test with this first. That was closer to what I was looking for, but maybe I also need to extrude this inner bit as well. That's what I was looking for. So what did I do? I added a line in there and then also I extruded out. And of course it looks all nasty there, but at least with subdivided, it looks pretty good. Let me do a color on it. Just, uh... Oh yeah, that's gonna look real nice. I like the thickness on it as well. So let me go all the way back, change my color back to this color. Um, let me see if they give me a number when I inset it. I don't see a number anywhere, so it's a generic thickness. wonder if this also does that like there then does this work no it doesn't uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to have it set to the exact same scale every single time rather than be pulling it out for every single bit um, like for this one it wouldn't be all that hard to do but when I get to the other leg bit it's gonna be pretty time-consuming Scale, maybe. Okay, scale. It's not the right tool. Size spin. Can't think of anything else that's going to give me my desired effect, so I'm probably just going to have to do it by hand. Just suck it up. Okay. Sometime it'd be that way. But at least with the uh, extruding in the middle part, it's going to be easy. Ah, that's not good. Uh, reverse. Let me separate these back panels. That way I can do these separate. This does not have symmetry on it. Oh crap, I haven't been working in symmetry. Or at least part of it. That looks symmetrical, right? Yeah, okay, so it's just been for a little minute then. And 
put in. Glad I caught that early. I might do that to this inner part as well. Give it a little bit more thickness. this bit let me just do the ball so it does it then smooth looks like crap here and here Ooh. why can't you look nice like this one It's a lot of trial and error to get something to look nice sometimes. This one might just need me to add some more crease edges. Edges here. Hmm. Let me change the color. See if I notice it on a.
That's fine, but also it could look better. I press control X by accident. here first of all Up this shape because it looks terrible on the side. I didn't realize that. That looks better. Honestly, that might be the best thing to do for right now and then to go back over it with uh, like a cloth and cinch in some of those edges to make it feel like the fabric's pulling. I think that's what I'm gonna do. and stuff got you freeze the edges freeze the bottom bit and that looks basically like what that one does okay. I will move some of these edges just a tad bit inward though. Don't like how thick the board is on this one. See, this one isn't even really all that bad. It's just decrease the bottom of this one at least. That's where the real part starts to fall off. And then for this, maybe I can just smooth it out. Tab it. I'll just back it up. And then move some of these points in, inside of it.
HP. Let me just add, let me soften that so part out too. I was being lazy before since it wasn't that hard on the other one. If there's a way to turn that crap off i know like when you have a uh the move brush set to draw distance one it moves the entire thing which doesn't make any sense to me this color with the purple put my thing back where is it this puff there you go yeah that looks real nice man it is gonna look even better when I actually have like the uh, the fabric stretches in there right now let me go back to this level one just delete it I don't need the high poly of this and I'm going to actually delete it should I delete the inside of this no I am not gonna worry about it what I am going to do is I'm going to poly group, poly loop, get these two going, and then extrude this island out and take away some of these curve creases, which are just random creases in there. And That was a crease on the edge of this too. Uh, take away these creases. Just thicken up this 
middle curve. Oh. Now just to do that with the other two sections. To it. That's all I need to do for that section. Now, move on to slightly harder itch. Oh, wait, I didn't do the back pieces. Let's see. Inset these. these edges before bring them into the big mode one two Z model and stitch that stuff together. I don't need this to be a square. I don't know why I decided to do that. And let's just delete these extra edges. I don't need that. I'm guessing I got rid of all of my crease edges in that. No, I didn't. What's the deal? Yo. Okay, just got rid of it some places. Oh, that's good. Now just do the same thing that we did on the other bits. Do you use B-Ray or Piranos? Uh, no, I usually use this uh, Marmoset. Uh, I do want to um, take the time to learn how to use those programs. So, uh, well, use those programs, use those renderers. Right now, I'm probably going to spend a little bit of time in Eevee, the blendy, uh, Blender renderer, um, and try to light it up in there. But how's it going, Pepsi? Pepsi Lipton. There we go. Sorry, it is late. That's always going to be my excuse, by the way. This is a treatment.
see what that looks like. Ugh. Didn't like the way that one came out. Oh crap, that's not perfect either on the end bit. Let me do a quick crease here. Even though you don't see that part, be nice to kind of make it look better. Here as well. That might be a little too thick. So let's back this up a tad bit. Uh, wrong brush. Legs back in. That part looks good. Just need to replicate that. More crease edges, fix my problems. Don't know if I should take out that middle edge. It took it out for me apparently, never mind. this and then at least get rid of all the internal edit you know what no do it by hand it just crease these little groups there delete this edge in here don't need extra polygons probably good for right now and then everything else will come in when I start to sculpt on it a little bit more later on Oh crap, I never did turn up the music. Not bad.
about right. Just need to increase one or two of this. Fine. Break the purple. Now to do this section. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Grab some water and be right back. Turn everything on so I can at least see what it looks like. Do I have this? I don't have all this stuff in there. I'll be right back. Quick save.
Okay, I'm back. Back into this sectional grind. Is real quick, but it's a button for it. Control S, Alt S, Shift S. There we go. And immediately get covered. It is have a thing. Oh, okay, because something messed me up. Let's just separate this anyway. Um, just do the exact same thing we did with the top bit. Separate this off deal with that some other time. Then I'm going to inset these regions. in there excuse me Increase level two, smooth level three. Gotcha. Increase level two, smooth level three. That's right.
put this in my crease by hand. to 15 for whatever reason. the most annoying feature in ZBrush, I swear. I don't know why that's even a thing. It just snaps joints for whatever reason.
much closer together. Increase all these edges now. That looks good. Let's do a quick color test. That looks really nice, honestly. back ones and then the ones at the top um, first things first is to grab these Split hidden one more time. Why isn't it? Oh, okay. Turn these off. Turn smoothing on. Two and three. And then let me finally fix this area. of this leave That's fixed. I can move this in position. Mirror, mirror weld. Turn off low symmetry, then mirror and weld. Then I'm uh, move this back with the big pieces. Let me quick say since some weird stuff just happened with my computer.
that's all good to go. work early today where it did it perfectly on both sides. wrong anyway. How to fix that without doing a thousand and one things. Yeah. Let's turn off symmetry, get rid of one side. crash goes just might be the end of the stream let's wait for it and if it doesn't ease out in the next two or three minutes program hopefully it didn't delete everything split up now I can select just these auto group on unwell group border move this a little bit to the left or right now let's go back to a dynamic these off for a bit. If I remember correctly, the thing was 0 0.014 thickness. Then apply that dynamic, turn dynamics thickness off. Uh, 
fix that kind of thing later. I'm gonna delete this one. right now. Let's inset these. sense but at least it worked I guess Things to crease all these edges.
this is the second. Bottom heavy. time is it? 15 minutes. I got about 15 minutes left in the stream. And in that time, I'm going to try to knock this out without compromising the same level of polish that I've given these. this Fresh my eyes. business as you
shift S. at the top it doesn't feel like they're actually coming out This area, it definitely looks out. I could just do that one section. Um, let me try one thing, and if it looks better like that, then I'll just leave it like that. So, first things first, let's start all group these. Click this one. I'll just mirror it over. Let's try it without color and see if it still holds up or not. Subdivision one auto group again, delete these.
was it again? Point zero one four. Let's do that again. All the groups, I'm guessing. again what dynamics I want to turn on smoothen this is the two this is the three It's supposed to be two different things too. You know what? Let's just do everything down the middle apparently. back on push it just a little bit closer okay that should have done the job I needed it to do now that that's there apply and then dynamic again but turn off Thickness, turn on crease to level two, smoothing to level three, shift D, 
increase poly groups. Try it again. Again. Now I just gotta go back through and I don't like how jagged it looks though. At least for some areas, like the back area, I don't like how that ship was coming out. this stuff over I need to push in the front bits it seems like I'm gonna do this last little section right here and then I'm gonna call the stream. stuff when I look at it again but that isn't another day's problem
I'm also going to be doing this as a game rest model. So a lot of this stuff is going to flatten out and be really nice looking when uh, that happens. So even though sticking up for the 3D printed version, it's going to be nice and clean looking for the sculpted version. What the heck is that? Oh crap, this is asymmetry. It's okay, we're just gonna do a mirror and weld. Fix up my stupid mistakes. Symmetry's on. Turn this down to two, turn this to three. Want everything to have the exact same amount of levels on it. So if I need to merge anything, it's super easy to go ahead and do.
All right, she's starting to look nice. I say that every single week and it's always true. So we got through basically everything I wanted to get through today, which was basically refining all the things I retopped last week or uh, early this week. What is this? Turn it off. I don't need that. Um, most likely I'm going to have to go back over this section, uh, but we'll see how I feel about it next week. Uh, just because I don't know if it gels well with everything, but it still looks good. So that's the best thing. Um, so the next part we're gonna move on to will most likely be the feet area where I'm going to finally finalize this, bring in my retop version of the steel toes and uh, finish that off. And then we're probably gonna do a once over on all the clothes pieces just to make sure that they look good and they're cohes uh, they have some cohesion together. And then after that, we have a whole bunch of metal work to do from the gauntlets to the shoulder pauldrons. And then we have the hair to do. It's not a lot to do, but it's also a lot of time consuming things to do. Um, so yeah, it's just about what, what we tackle and how we're gonna tackle it. Um, I have a general idea of how I was tackling these. I just took a break from them. So I'll probably get back onto those, um, which is just gonna be retopping for the most part. Um, the hair is gonna be using all, what's this thing? Uh, IMM brushes or curve brushes. So if you wanna look that stuff up, you can. Um, and the gauntlets are gonna be a separate file altogether because in order to make them look nice, and not blow up my computer. I need to have those as a separate object. Yeah. I'm so glad you guys are still following along. Uh, hopefully this is useful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, post them up in the comments as well as in the Discord that I have. Uh, you can also follow me on social where I'm usually very vocal on there, at least on Instagram. I know for a fact you can get me as easy as possible. Um, and I'm trying to get better at posting on Twitter. I'm really trying. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for, you know, just hanging out with me. And I'll catch you guys at the next stream.